Hello everyone and welcome back to another Wizard 101 video. Today we're doing another ranking video, but today we're doing something a little bit special. You know, we're doing a aesthetic ranking. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is a few reasons. One, you know, I can't think of another video idea and it was an idea recommended on my Discord server. I've got it a few times in the past, but also aesthetic is important. Everyone always says, you know, pick this because of this and pick this because of this, but you need to realize that the vast majority of the time you're picking a school or an aesthetic or anything in a video game, it's simply because because of how much you like how it looks, right? Like, I bet a vast majority of us as kids, the first school we picked wasn't due to any reason like, yeah, I want to do damage or I want to resist. It was because, oh, I like this color or, oh, I like this aesthetic. That's why I picked fire. As a kid, I was like, whoa, fire's cool. I like the summer. I'm a Leo. That That's a thing. Fire's cool, basically. And that's why I picked it. And that's why people pick a lot of roles in video games. So today I was like, you know what? Let's rank the looks of the schools because that's Im more important than anything you know if you're gonna pick a school you want it to look good because if it doesn't look good well what's the point in playing it so without further ado let's get into the video this list is going to be completely subjective so i want to know your opinions in the comments below what do you think do you agree what, what's your list what's your favorite you know aesthetic looking school i'm curious so at the bottom and starting off i'm gonna have to go with myth now this hurts because i found a new love of myth recently you know i've been on my myth wizard a lot more in these videos as i'm sure most of you noticed it's kind of what i've been defaulting to recently because myth is just fun i like its look i like a lot of things things about it. But if we're talking about spell aesthetic, Wizard 101 kind of dropped the ball here. Now, I would say it goes half and half. I like the looks of them. Like, I love the whole triangle eye thing, like Deathly Hallows almost symbol kind of thing. The color scheme of yellow and blue is pretty cool looking overall. You know, they have a cool professor. But there are definitely a lot of spells that aren't that good looking. For example, one of your major spells and the one of the ones you're going to be using the most is Humongo Frog. And Humongo Frog is literally just a frog vibe vomiting everywhere. Blood Bat, one of the most used spells in the beginning, is also just a bat vomiting everywhere. And it's kind of just gross, right? You have like Gobbler. I know that this spell isn't used until later on, but you got Gobbler, which is like the Gobbler farting on people. It's like just the kind of gross aesthetic. Now, I would like to say, countering this, it does also have some of the coolest spells in the game. Like Medusa looks sick. Orthrus looks pretty sick. Minotaur, really cool. But there's also, you know, a lot of more gross things here. And I simply have to put it at the bottom for that reason. Now, again, this is a very toss-up school for me. This is either the best school or the worst school. But I can't overlook the fact that the spell that we use the most in the game, Humongo Frog, is literally just a giant frog that vomits everywhere. And it, it you know, back in the day, I actually genuinely got a little bit sick to my stomach sometimes after playing this game for a long time on a myth because I kept looking at a frog vomiting everywhere and it just got a little bit gross. So myth has to go here at the bottom. Now next up on our list is storm and there's so many reasons that I'm putting storm here that it's ridiculous. First off, lightning. Who really thinks of lightning and like storms as their favorite power? I don't think most people do, right? Like, when you think of main characters and the superpowers they have, say, how many of them are lightning based or storm based not a lot because it's just kind of lame like it's it's a you know it's a kind of lame superpower like no one's favorite like greek god for example is zeus because all zeus does is lightning and he's kind of a dick you know other people choose all the other gods because who cares about lightning it's such a base thing where it's like yeah no there's there's really no reason to like this but in terms of the actual spells itself and what you use it continues on with that theme like your most used spell tempest is literally you just throwing water at people like that's something i guess you know think about the other schools right you have like meteor strike raining meteors from the sky you have blizzard raining ice chunks from the sky you got rat spin a bunch of rats throwing acorns at people that's sick you got ship of fools people dropping a mass on someone awesome but then you have storm which is just like a wave like who cares, you know? I think that that's a real problem with Storm, you know? Like, I, I never have looked at their spells and been like, oh, this is sick. Oh, their aesthetic is so cool. Yeah, no, I don't do that. And, you know, maybe that's me. It's probably just me. But I, I don't know. It's always been kind of lame. Their professor is a frog. He might have a top hat, but that doesn't mean anything, right? Like, top hats are cool, but, like, nah. Nah, I, I don't support it. Now, the next school 
aesthetic that I'm going to put is life. Now, this one is a bit rough. This one could really be switched around a lot, but this is all down to preference. This one isn't set in stone like the other ones for me. Like I think Myth, you know, does look really gross and Storm's really boring. Life is interesting. It's kind of cool, but it's never really appealed to me. A lot of the spells are kind of like this light or healing based theme, and that's never really interested me in video games, you know? Like, I, I never really go for like light over darkness aesthetic, and I realize that that's a bit ironic considering my myth looks like this, but, but listen, I just think that a lot of it is more like an earthy type healing type vibe, right? You know, that's not really my vibe. Like, when I think life, I think like centaur, I think satyr, I think that three pip spell, what's it called? Nature's wrath, nature's wrath. I think of those, maybe even sprite, but a lot of those are like, you know, earthly creature type things. It's just not my aesthetic. If you like it, good for you. I, I do appreciate that. And I, I'm not going to take that away from you. If you're one of the other two, like if you're a storm wizard or whatever, I don't care about what your, your opinion is, but life wizards, you know, I, I respect at least if life is your favorite aesthetically. It's just not mine. Next up is balance. And this one probably could be switched with life. They're about equal in my eyes, but I think it's a cool aesthetic. I think the problem that I have with balance is that I wish that more of their spells were like more in relation to balance because you have judgment, obviously like what I would consider to be the symbol of balance. But beyond that, the, a lot of the spells don't really match what I would want their aesthetic to be. Like sure, there are a lot of like tan slash orange, which are definitely the school colors, but like like, what is a scarab in relation to balance? I don't know. It could be that there's some like hidden thing that I don't know. Like locust swarm. What is that? It's just a bunch of bugs. I don't know. Sandstorm is definitely cool though. I, I think Sandstorm matches Balance's aesthetic. I just think that a lot of their spells don't really match what I would want. Like, you know, they have the Russian nesting doll kind of thing. They have Gaze of Fate, which Gaze of Fate is just really weak. I don't know. It's just a lot of it isn't what I would expect when you're saying a balance school in a game. And, and that kind of is a little bit disappointing, but I still like the aesthetic. I like the idea of, you know, there must be balance in the universe, you know? And maybe I, it's just because I've been watching the event recently and Thanos is you know there but I don't know balance is cool I think you know all things need a little bit of balance balance can go firmly in the middle now next up is ice and this one has always been painful for me because ice is super cool in my head I love the aesthetic of like an ice mage you know something like a, a frost magic wizard I think it's such a cool aesthetic and it always has been this thing for me where it's like yes ice is a really cool aesthetic and I actually do like it in a lot of video games but then you got ice and wizard 101 and I've always been severely disappointed because it's always like yes I do understand like frost magic resistance but it honestly isn't like super powerful and super in meta if they made it more meta to be like an ice wizard to be tanky in pve then I think it would be even higher for me normally but like I just really like its aesthetic and I've always really liked its aesthetic and I remember the first time I ever picked an ice wizard I was like oh this is so cool and then I suffered for 150 levels like I think blizzard and like ice weaver and stuff like they have a really cool aesthetic to them they have evil snowman I think that this school has probably some of my favorite looking spells out of all of them it's just that the aesthetic it doesn't really match like what it's lived up to be which is disappointing, which is why it's probably here. Next up is Fire, and for this one, this one is near and dear to my heart. It's the first one that I picked ever when playing this game. Fire is cool, you know? It's an element of destruction, of power, everything like that, and I feel like they do a really good job with Fire with its aesthetic. They really make you feel like a Fire Wizard. Like, certain wizards, like Myth, its aesthetic, it's cool. Some of it matches, but a lot of it, it's like, that's not what I expect when you give me the idea of a Myth wizard right whereas like a fire wizard yes i would expect like meteor strike i would expect sunbird i would expect phoenix this is all stuff that i would really expect when it comes to fire and this one definitely is probably a bit biased for me it's near and dear to my heart again the first one i picked it's not really what i would consider my main anymore but i still enjoy it i still like it so i'm fine with putting fire at second place it definitely deserves to be really high i think that they did a really really good job of matching its aesthetic to its spells finally and i'm sure a lot of people saw this coming 
is death. Now, death for me, for a lot of reasons, is number one. Beyond the fact that I just think its aesthetic is really cool, necromancers have always been like, you know, a staple of video games and magic in video games. Raising the dead to come back and fight for you has always been like a staple of magic. And I think that they do a really good job here. And healbacks in this game are an extremely unique mechanic. Like a lot of other schools don't have a mechanic as unique as that, in my opinion, right? Like they try, like ice has its stuns, but nothing in this game can be stunned. And then you have like myth with their minions, but minions are useless. Well, death has their kind of quirk of a healback and healback is really useful. It's cool to have that quirk that's actually useful. And I think that that really lends well to death being my favorite because it looks good it plays good and just visually it's super cool, right? You have Dwargan as your professor. Dwargan is such a cool professor. I'm sure most people love Dwargan and have Dwargan as their like, you know, number one favorite professor because he's just really cool. So I'll put him up there. I like the aesthetic. I think it's just great. And that's it. So that's the ranking for me of the Wizard 101 schools visually. Now, again, this is entirely subjective. Leave what you think in the comments below. I'm really interested to know, but that's probably what mine is and what mine always has been in terms of the aesthetic. I don't know if it would change. That's just kind of what it is, you know? So let me know in the comments. What do you think? I know that this video is kind of out of left field. It's not something I usually do, but that's okay. I like changing it up every once in a while. And I know not as many people are going to watch this video, but that's okay. If you did watch it and you got to this point, make sure to drop a like at the sub button. But otherwise, thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next video. Adios.